University of the Philippines economics professor Emmanuel de Dios calls out the government for not taking the blame for the soaring inflation. De Dios says economic managers should at least acknowledge that the tax reform for acceleration and inclusion or the train law has something to do with the soaring inflation. The inflation rate in June surges to 5.2 percent, higher than all government forecasts, targets, and market expectations. The last time inflation hit 5.2 percent was in October 2011. The Just says it's futile for the Department of Finance to say train is only responsible for 0.4 percent of the inflation. But who is in charge of the economy? Di ba silang lahat? The DOF says the inflationary effects of the train law were minimal at only 0.4 percentage points of the 4.6 percent inflation in May. Predictions made by government economists were also off by a wide margin. The Development Budget Coordination Committee predicted in revised outlook that inflation would average between 4 percent and 4.5 in 2018. The Finance Department's forecast was at 4.9 percent. Banco Central ng Pilipinas economists projected June inflation to settle between 4.3 percent and 5.1 percent. The government aims to keep inflation within 2 percent to 4 percent from 2018 to 2022. Senator Bam Aquino reiterates his call for the suspension of higher excise taxes under the tax reform law.